goodness me is it a dark foggy October morning I don't think it could feel any more autumnal I don't know if you would have been able to tell from the clips this morning I was trying to show you the fog outside because it is so thick I can barely see towards the end of my garden I feel like it never quite shows up on camera just quite how foggy it really is but it is like there's just a layer of cloud sitting over us and creating this little bit spooky cozy October vibe so I hope the lighting is okay because it is so dark this morning I have the lights on and actually it's quite exciting being able to put my little M&S lamp on I've still been getting questions about this lamp if you didn't see it when I unboxed this it's from M&S home and it's like the cutest little like scallop lamp so it's really nice having those on um so I do actually have my ring light out in front of me that's when you know we're getting into the darker months it's kind of feeling a little bit i don't want to say the word a little bit like vlogmas i just said it but i always feel like whenever i get the ring light out that to me signifies that vlogmas is near and i am getting really really excited about all things festive um but i decided just to have a bit of a chill cozy morning this morning because i knew i wouldn't really be able to do any kind of like filming too early on so i decided just to take it easy and i've actually just been sitting having my morning coffee and reading through a book that i've had in my collection for a little while but i kind of forgot about and i do really really love this and i do feel like since my like home style has been changing I have been looking to different avenues to get inspiration. Now, the two White Company books will forever be my favourite interior books. I absolutely love them. They're such great coffee table books and they have so much inspiration. But if you're like me and you're really wanting to add a bit more heart and soul into your home, I feel like is the best way to say it. I do feel like I'm a colour girl at heart when it comes to home styling. Um, and this is the Elements of Style, Designing a Home and a Life. And that's what I really, really like about it. And it has so many gorgeous pictures in there it's actually quite word heavy so it's a really really good one to get like stuck into i feel like on a weekend um and there's like a little bit more color in there i feel like that's probably not a good example but especially oh, this is a gorgeous one um around like the bedrooms and stuff this is like a little office inspiration so i've just been having a little bit of a flick through just to kind of get a little bit of inspo particularly as we're going into like the winter season um i do feel like my autumn home and my winter home are like slightly different um there's just so much inspiration in here i've just been absolutely loving Loving flicking through. I mean, look at that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so just been having a really chilled out cozy morning which has just been the perfect start to the day and I do feel like when the weather gets like this it really does inspire me to do a few more like little home switch ups and just make it as like a cozy and as lovely a space to be as possible because I know especially over the next couple of months I'm going to be spending a lot of time at home a lot of time indoors so now is just the perfect time to like really think about my interiors making it cozy and 
just getting excited about the coming months. Speaking of home updates, I do actually have one new update to show you out in the hallway. This is like another area I feel like you don't really see a lot. Actually, I feel like this kind of section you see a fair amount. This is a canvas print that I actually painted myself. Um, I did it with the polymer, um, you know, like that wall drying stuff um, when it was like all the rage. And I do really like it. I feel like it's coming up quite badly on camera, but in real life, it looks really cool. I love it against the dark blue background. I really, really love the navy blue on the walls and I just feel like it works really, really well. Um, I do love this hallway space because I feel like it's such a juxtaposition of like light and dark. It is quite a dark hallway. Um, I don't know if it's better if I turn on this light or if that's, no, I feel like it's just gonna make it so orange. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this hallway. Um, these lights make me laugh as well actually because when we first moved in, we had to like pull it up more because Alex kept hitting his head on it. Um, but the new update to show you is my Decenio print. Finally found a place for it because initially I was gonna put it up here um, in the bedroom, but we actually just really, really like our bedroom being calm. I feel like this is quite ironic because I was literally just talking about having more color around the home and like reading a book that's like really colorful, but actually in our bedroom, we like it really neutral. We like it really calm. We like it very, very understated. Um, so obviously you would have seen that I added these ones recently. Um, the gorgeous Desenio prints um, and I was trying to find like the perfect place for this and I feel like I have found it so it's just at the top of the stairs and I feel like the blue ties in really really well with the blue on the walls and I'm so obsessed with it it is a um, print of a Monet painting and I do love impressionist paintings they are definitely my favorites I think they are just so classic I feel like they look so so cool like it's kind of like that juxtaposition of like paint and realism I think it looks absolutely amazing the way that they've literally made the like top of this um, dress up look like mirrored it's just absolutely incredible um and i really really love the like blue tones the blue and pinky tones because i kind of feel like it ties in a lot of different aspects so like we've got much more like warm pinky vibes in my dressing room and then out here it's a bit cooler and a little bit more balloon tone so really really love how that looks i think it's just absolutely amazing um and it is another canvas as you can see from decenio so i really really like their canvases because it stops you from getting any like glare or anything um i do find that with the um prints like these ones are okay actually but you can even see here like where I stand there is a little bit of a glare from the window um, so I much prefer having the canvas prints because I just feel like getting rid of that glare is just a little bit more I don't know how to describe it I feel like it just looks so much better it looks like a real painting which I just think is absolutely fab um, I feel like it just ties in this space so so nicely honestly one of you actually commented recently saying that every little thing we've been doing to add to the home is just making it so much more homely and I just want to say thank you because I totally agree like I do feel like even though it's been almost a year and a half we've been in this house there are still little tweaks and changes that we're making just like adding things to walls you know styling things up and it just really really helps with the whole kind of like overall vibe of the home so i am absolutely in love with this well today has just been the perfect cozy autumnal day it has literally just been so dark today i've had the lights on i've had candles burning i've been chilling out in alex's um office in my little ellie nook in there we actually ended up putting on the little faux um like fire stove that we have which i absolutely love if you're like us and you don't have any opportunity to have like a proper stove a proper wood burner or anything like that it's just so lovely to put on and it just is so cozy and you're not so good to put on with it actually um which i won't even run out of this office out um but we have a couple of these and they are just absolutely amazing the woodwick candles this is the white tea and jasmine we were burning something berry through that i can't remember what it was um but he's currently on a call so i don't want to go in and disturb him and literally take a candle out of his room um but we've been burning these and oh my god this one smells amazing actually i might burn this one in here but basically when you light these it sounds like fire like it sounds like a wood burning fire it has that like crackle um because the actual wick is like made up of this kind of like wooden crisscross and it crackles so beautifully like honestly it sounds like a real log burner so if you put that on like put on like a faux stove or even if you wanted to netflix has that like fire one which actually does have the sound as well so even if you've got a home that doesn't have the opportunity to have like real fires or like log burners, there are still ways to make it really nice and cozy. But I've just come in here because I have received a new delivery that I'm really, really excited to try. Now I was contacted by the Truffle Guys. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Truffle, just truffleguys.co.uk, no the. Um, and it says, truffle your way to greatness. I love that. And they basically got in touch and asked if I wanted to try some of their truffle products and I, 
I'm a truffle queen. I'm absolutely obsessed with truffle. I just absolutely love the taste of it. Anything like truffly or mushroomy, um, like a truffle risotto is literally my favorite. And as you guys know, I'm really getting into my cooking and I'm going to need some scissors to get into these because they've been bubble wrap really, really tight. Um, but as you guys know, I've been really getting into my cooking recently and I'm really enjoying trying out different recipes, trying out different things and just seeing what I'm able to create. Um, I feel like part of the reason why I fell down so much before is because I basically, like, Obviously, it was so lovely of him to do it. But Alex tried to teach me things that he already knew how to cook. And so if ever I was trying to like recreate one of his recipes or like make something that he's really good at, obviously it would never be the same and it would never taste as good as like what he made. So my kind of new resolution, which if you guys know, I've been using October as like either a September or a January as like a new resolution month. I was looking at it as like a whole new season, whole new month, whole new goals. And one of my biggest goals this month was to just really get into cooking, like learn some new recipes that I've taught myself or that I've read in a book or that I found. And I just feel like it makes it so so much more like it's not a recipe that Alex has ever done it's not something that he's ever cooked and so no matter how it tastes it, we never have something to compare it to you know what I mean so even if it's not like amazing I've at least tried and it's something a little bit different and I thought that these would really really help in my kind of like quest to being the perfect cook <laughs> which I definitely don't think I'm ever going to be the perfect cook but I can at least try so first thing we have here is the royal truffle ketchup great with well pretty much everything. I absolutely love that. Um, so it says here, a real game changer. Our truffle ketchup simply oozes class whilst your taste buds savor the oaky taste. Now I would love to know, <laughs> just fell off the counter there. I would love to know what you would recommend cooking with this. I feel like something like chickeny, maybe just like a chicken with like roast potatoes, maybe like some new potatoes. I could like season with rosemary. That might go really, really well with it. I don't know what veggies I would put with that, but if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, and then the other product we've got here is the Signature Truffle Dust, which this I'm really, really excited about. So it says to sprinkle me on pasta, eggs, fries, risotto, and pretty much everything. I love that. I definitely think I'm going to try doing a risotto. I don't know if it's too complicated, but I would love to try a truffle risotto. I think that would just be absolutely amazing. So I'm really, really excited to give that a go. So thank you so much to the truffle guys. I'm so, so excited to try these and get cooking and just really kind of like trying to up my cooking game. I do feel like truffle is one of those because it's such a delicious but strong flavor. I feel like a little bit goes a long way and it's just like a really good way of just like making it taste absolutely delicious. So I am actually gonna get started on dinner tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day now. I'm just currently getting myself ready for the day. And oh my goodness me, I used a product today that I have not used in such a long time. And I forgot how much I absolutely adore this. It's the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizing Blush. And if you're like me and you've got a bit of an obsession for cream products at the moment, this is absolutely amazing. This is a great one as well to keep in like a gym bag or like in your handbag for little top ups because this can actually be used for blush, lips and eyes, which I always think is like such a handy one to be able to have like a three in one um, and you can apply it with your finger. I actually chose to apply it with a blush brush. I'm really enjoying this at the moment. It's the Real Techniques um, blush brush and I feel like it's just got a really lovely like it's very nice and powdery, so it's quite nice using the products together because I feel like I get the glow from the cream, but then it like applies like a powder. Um, and it's funny that I'm still obsessed with cream products at the moment because normally, as soon as we hit autumn, I'm over the cream products. I want something a bit more powdery, but actually this year, I'm just still loving the glow from cream products. So really, really loving that. Um, and the reason why I am getting myself ready for the morning is because, well, the reason why I'm getting myself ready for the morning, what kind of sentence is that, Ellie? Like, obviously, I'm get myself ready for the day but basically I have a fun day planned um so I'm actually going to meet Phoebe again which you would have seen I last met her when we were in Winchester we had such a lovely day in Winchester and then we're actually heading out to I feel like is best described as the Dalesford of Hampshire everyone knows Dalesford everyone kind of like knows exactly what the organic farm is all about and if you live in or around Hampshire if you live nearby you need to come to the garden society alex actually took me here for my birthday which i didn't vlog 
I did take a few photos of those so those went up on my stories which I would always recommend making sure you've got notifications on for things like stories because I feel like stories are one that are so easily missed but I share a lot on there as well as on my YouTube so if ever like I miss something on YouTube usually it'll be on Instagram or like on my stories um but it is beautiful there the most beautiful garden center but it's another one like Dalesford where I don't really feel like I can justify calling it a garden center because it's a garden center on steroids first of all they have the most amazing restaurant in there they do afternoon tea they do like proper meals and stuff like morning evening um and a few times a year they do this really cool thing where they basically have like a burlesque show in the restaurant which is absolutely amazing when alex and i went for my birthday they were doing an alice in wonderland theme so the whole place was covered in roses and i know for christmas they are doing a another show which will be really interesting to find out what they're doing because we might just have to book tickets to go and see that because i think it would just be absolutely amazing um and then you've got the like garden center which is got so many plants like so many things that you can choose from which i might end up taking a few things home today they've got like outdoor seating they've got these gorgeous little kind of like huts that you can like hire so if you're doing i don't know like a hen do or a baby shower or something like that you can hire out the huts as like private hire um and then inside there is a huge home shopping bit loads of homeware so many gorgeous pieces um and i am definitely after some more homeware bits i feel like after reading through the was it elements of style is it elements of style the book i was reading yesterday the home interior book i'm really inspired now to add in a few more things just to really get my home like winter ready it's really really exciting that we are fully going into cozy season and i feel like sometimes i jump straight from autumn to christmas and actually it's quite nice to kind of celebrate that moment in between and just make it really cozy really comfy and like ready for the next season um so we're gonna grab some brunch at the garden society and i'll show you around a little bit as well because it is just so so beautiful so let me show you my outfit of the day I'm going cute and cozy today and actually now that i think about this this is an exact outfit that i created when i did my little styling video when i first got this coat if you haven't seen the video i think i literally titled it like i found my dream winter coat because this is the dream coat cape that i have ever ever seen it's from holland cooper it's got the most gorgeous little like fluffy color which keeps you really nice and snug so if the temperatures are really cold you can fully like wrap it around your face and get really really cozy but on a day like today when it's a little bit milder i can just leave it open and have it a little bit more like relaxed and i loved doing that video because i feel like it's really helped me with regards to how i'm going to be wearing this cape how i'm going to be styling it you also probably can understand more now why i didn't um do it in the mirror because look at this it's like really annoying to show you a cape in the mirror because i just feel like this whole arm is it's like being pulled at the side um but I loved doing that video because it really helped me with regards to knowing how I'm going to be wearing the coat knowing how I'm going to be styling it and creating a few different outfits so I've literally just copied one of those outfits today and that is what I'm wearing so let me know if you want more videos like that instead of doing like full-on hauls or like big orders doing something a little bit smaller and more concise but showing you different ways that I can wear it different ways that I can style it I feel like I've really, really enjoyed doing that. So I'm definitely going to do more videos like that. Um, but I'm basically wearing just a little pair of leggings. These are the Sweaty Betty leggings that I picked up. Um, I am actually wearing the three, not three quarter length, seven eighth length, um, which I shouldn't have worn. I should have worn the long ones, but never mind. Um, I just have a cute little roll neck on today, just a long sleeve. It's like a really simple one. Um, it's quite thin as well. So perfect for a day like today when it's a little bit more mild and I'd rather just like layer up over the top. Um, I then have a little pair of duo boots on, which I love these. These are like my country pair um they're a gorgeous like brown pair with this like suede detail on them so 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 perfect if you're just going wandering around like the garden center um just going for like a little lunch date or brunch date or wandering around like the fields in the countryside um and then bag wise i'm going to wear my little louis vuitton so i feel like all the brown tones just work really really well together and i love this because i can put it crossbody and then it just means that my hands are completely free so that is my outfit of the day ready for a little girly day at the garden society i'm so excited to show you around because honestly you guys are going to love this and i've been a couple of times since and coincidentally every time i've been since i haven't vlogged it and i really do feel like it's a bit of a hidden gem down in hampshire and a definite one to add to your to visit list if ever you're coming down for like a little weekend staycation so yeah let's get going so i have just arrived to the garden at society now which you can see behind me it's just in the cutest little it's like very kind of like a rustic shack vibes um, and i'm obsessed with the branding i mean look at this it's absolutely beautiful and from the looks of things it is very festive inside you can hear the little water feature going um, and they always do some like really seasonal bits um so as you can see you've got a sign here that says hello autumn and oh my goodness me look 
at this floral archway as you head inside. How stunning would that be for an October wedding? Oh my goodness me. Phoebe should be here any minute now and then we can head inside and check out what's in store. Okay, so Phoebe said she's running a few minutes late, so I thought we could have a little wander around before she arrives. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but they already have their Christmas displays out, which is just making me so, so excited. Look, I like the beautiful twinkly lights. Oh my goodness me. with the colour of these dried flowers. Look at these beautiful autumnal tones. I feel like this is a really easy way to take your displays from like summer into autumn. I might get a couple of these just to add in to a couple of my flower displays. But look how beautiful they are. Oh my goodness, even more beautiful faux flowers. I'm obsessed with the colour of these hydrangeas. They're just the most beautiful like mauve pinky shade. I think this will be perfect just to add a few kind of like feature points just to really make my home a little bit more autumnal. One of my favourite things in the Garden Society is this aviary just through there. It's the restaurant where we had our afternoon tea for my birthday. But look at all the little birds flying around. Honestly they have loads of space as well like it's absolutely huge in there. They've got so much like they've got little nuts like look at this little display. Oh my goodness. Hello Monsieur. Bonjour. Oh my goodness me, it's just amazing. I don't know if you can hear them tweeting away as well. Look at him giving himself a little bath. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I didn't even realise that they do at Katie Loxton here at the Garden Nut Society. You know how much I adore Katie Loxton. I have so many of these like, little pouches, which this is the cutest thing ever. I feel like this is such a great way to like ask someone for your bridesmaid as well, is to give them something like this. Oh my goodness, little flower girl one. That is so, so cute. Oh, they have literally like the entire new collection. It's so exciting. Well, it's safe to say I have found autumn here at the Garden Society. Look, oh my goodness, these are beautiful. <gasps> Never seen anything like these. And the little pumpkins. Oh, I think I needed a green pumpkin or should I get like a little beigey color? <gasps> oh, that is so cute. Forgotten parlor. Oh my gosh, this is one of the little um, oh. event spaces. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the dream chandeliers. They are beautiful. My goodness me, would you look at that autumnal sunshine? It is literally my favorite thing to sit here, do unboxings, have chats, and just see that sun behind me. Oh my goodness. It is quite a while later, I'm not gonna lie. We've literally spent the majority of the day at the Garden Society today. It really is the kind of place that you can go and just spend all day. I don't know how well you would have seen the kind of tour that I was giving you, um, but they also had some different kind of like rooms that you can use. I think I showed you the... The Secret Garden, I believe, is one of the rooms. Um, and we've actually booked a wreath-making course in December, which we're thinking is going to be in that room. They've got other rooms that they use for, like, baby showers or, like, if you're doing, like, private hire, like, Hindus and things like that. That is so much fun. And then they've also got the main space for the afternoon tea. They've got, like, the little cafe, the restaurant, and, of course, the huge shop. It had so many goodies in and the fact that they were already getting the Christmas stock out just makes me so so excited. I'm not gonna lie to you, I may have actually picked up 
something rather exciting for Christmas. I have some goodies here to show you that I came away with. And can we also just talk about how gorgeous these Hessian bags are? I don't normally buy tote bags when I'm away in shops. Um, like I would have normally just taken this, put it straight in the car as is. Um, but I just thought it was so, so beautiful. I love the um like design of the garden society i absolutely love the logo i love the different flowers that are on there like we've got that to me it looks like a thistle um we've got like a daisy which is so so sweet i'd love to know what all of these flowers are we've got like some berries some foliage oh they're just absolutely gorgeous if anyone knows exactly what each flower is I think it'll be so so cool to know but yeah i absolutely loved the kind of like design of the bag and i thought this would be really handy just to like keep in the car because i can't tell you how many times i've been caught out when i have gone like shopping and stuff when i don't have shopping bags in the back of the car like you know you just want to do like a quick food shop you maybe at the farmer's market you just want to pick a few things up i feel like this is a really really handy one just to keep in the back of the car and the fact that it's so beautiful as well i feel like really really helps and i feel like i'm supposed to be doing a haul of what's inside the bag and instead i'm spending five minutes talking about the bag but this bag was 2.99 and I can't tell you how many places, and I do feel like especially hotels do this, where you can buy these kind of like Hessian tote bags. They sell them for like 20 pounds. So when she told me it was 2 99 I mean, that's literally the cost of like a normal like M&S um, bag for life. I was like, oh my goodness, get me one of these. I kind of wish I picked up two. I love the fact that it's like navy blue there. But anyway, let's actually get into what's in the bags. That is the actual exciting thing. So I'm going to start with the stems that you can see here. As I said, I wanted to pick up some autumnal flowers and you know that i love faux flowers i as much as i am a real flower girl especially in summer i love real flowers i love how much they fill the space and i really utilize them like seasonally i do love me some faux flowers and these ones behind me are just my absolute favorites um and this is actually a huge mixture of individual stems i would definitely recommend picking up individual stems because i feel like you can just create such a unique bouquet and then you can also change it up a bit if you get bored and i feel like it's such a great way to keep it a bit more seasonal so at the moment i feel like it's still looking quite summery um and i thought it'd be really cool to add in some like autumnal tones in there um and just make it a little bit more seasonally appropriate i'm also loving the fact that this is going to kind of match the cushions i feel like i'm really bringing in those like autumnal vibes um so the first one i picked up it was 12 pounds which i feel like for a huge hydrangea head is really not a bad price um and it's this really really beautiful like mauvey colored hydrangea i just love the different tones and textures that are in it i feel like these literally look like the hydrangeas that are outside in my garden right now that have dried up and gone over and that's what i really loved about that um and then i wanted something a little bit different I thought these worked so well together because I didn't want to get like three of the same thing. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what flowers these are supposed to be. Does it tell me? Oh, a carnation, a burgundy carnation. And these are five pounds each. Um, and I love the fact that it even had like the leaves. It just makes it look so realistic. And I thought these were beautiful. Like look at the layers in there and the color is just stunning. This like rich ox blood color. It is so, so beautiful. So we can do those in the flowers in a little bit and we can do a bit of like a new arrangement which i think is just so nice it's like new season new arrangement um i then picked up a little christmas decoration i'm not gonna lie to you i could have gone ham on christmas decorations and actually i was looking initially for a 2023 bauble because you know our tradition we have a bauble for every single year and we like to label it or make sure that it's like got the year written on it um 2022 was the portofino one 2021 I think it was just a plain burgundy bauble 2020 i think it's the champagne bottle potentially we literally have them from every year since we moved into our first um flat in 2019 which is absolutely insane that was the first christmas we had in our first flat together no it was our second flat but it was the first christmas we had together i'm pretty sure um but yeah we've literally collected them every single year and it's such a nice tradition um so that was what i was initially looking for and then when i saw this i was like well i can't leave that at home it is a watering can christmas decoration i mean is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen in the entire world i kind of wish it was functional how cool would that be if it was actually functional you could put some water in it and actually like do a little bit of watering but i loved the little like holly that it's got there i just thought it was so so cute um it's like a really gorgeous like green color which is gonna go really well with my theme um and then we've got just like a little hessian ribbon um now on my christmas tree i have like a predominantly red and gold theme but i do feel like green decorations work really well because they kind of just like blend into the tree and they just look so cute i'm someone that i really really like a classy tree but i just can't help myself when it comes to just cutesy little ornaments to add to it i just think it's 
so much fun adding things like this um so had to pick up that i just thought it was absolutely adorable that was the only thing that i've got that was like christmasy um i then picked up which i thought would be really really nice when it comes to like autumn tablescapes um and doing something a little bit more seasonal is this little mushroom how cute is he i just absolutely love him he's got this like glittery top which i really really liked and then a wooden base and they were like it was mushroom city in there honestly we kept laughing at how many mushrooms had taken over the garden society because they had like glass mushrooms they had like woven mushrooms they actually had more mushroom decorations than they had like pumpkins which we thought was really really funny um but i thought especially around like the kind of like halloween period i'm definitely going to be doing like a really like autumnal tablescape for that um and i'm hosting a halloween party which i'm really really excited about and i don't think i'm going to go all out with like the spooky scary stuff it's going to be a bit more like autumnal seasonal kind of like harvest style which i really like and i just thought he was so cute you know what? i remember when i was little well not little but like i remember when i was a bit younger my mum used to have like so many cutesy things in her house and i just never understood that would always be like mum why have you got like a random hedgehog ornament in your house and now i get it like I'm buying mushrooms for my tablescapes. Um, but the last thing I picked up, which is a really beautiful ornament. I really, really love the like tones in this. I thought this might work really well in Alex's office. They've got kind of like greeny blue tones running through it. And I just thought it was so, so beautiful. It's literally just like a little ornament um, which you could put on top of like books, you could put on top of coffee table books or like on your shelves or things like that. But I really, really loved her. So a really good little loot from the Garden Society. Um, such a fun day out with Phoebe as well. Honestly, I feel like every time I see that girl, we just put the world to rights. Like, we just can't stop talking. We were literally sat having brunch for hours. Um, so, yeah, a really, really lovely day. and so glad with the pieces that I picked up. I feel like they're really helping with that kind of, like, homey feel that I'm getting into at the house. And just making it so much more seasonal and just so much more cozy. I'm loving it. Okay, so I thought we could do a little bit of faux flower arranging. Now, the main thing I'm thinking of doing is basically taking out these, like, white um kind of peony style flowers because these are very summery to me i feel like this is either a summery bouquet or a wintry bouquet because we've got the gorgeous like blueberries which i might actually take those out as well i feel like it's not going to be too much longer that i have this um ready for winter anyway so i just want to kind of like switch it up a little bit um and get it ready for autumn just so that it's a bit more seasonal um but especially with like the berries and the kind of like frosted um like tones that to me is giving wintry vibes so i really just want to bring in those like warm tones like love the cushions that we've got um really really love the like vibes in it that like, sort of, like burnt oranges the reds the browns i just think it's so nice to bring that into the foliage as well My goodness, I am obsessed. What do we think about the new additions? I actually feel like it's giving autumn and winter. Like, I feel like I might be able to keep these in for um, kind of Christmas styling. Um, although then again, I do have like a very festive bouquet that I usually bring out at this time of year. Um, but I love how they look. I feel like they just warm up the bouquet so beautifully. And it works really well, the fact that we've got the white hydrangeas with this hydrangea. And I'm really glad I went for three. I do find that when it comes to flower arranging, the rule of three is a great rule to follow. Like I feel like asymmetry just works so, so well. I always like it being a little bit lopsided. Like I like it when it's kind of just not perfect. I think it looks so much more realistic. So really happy with that. And I feel like it just ties in so beautifully with the um, cushions as well. I feel like it's just really bringing in those autumnal tones um and then i've just added over here which i love my little mushroom how cute is he honestly i just love the way that it's got glitter in it i think it's just so so sweet um i do feel like i need some pumpkins i wasn't the biggest fan of the pumpkins that they had i wanted something maybe just a little bit smaller that i can kind of spread out as a bit more of a tablescape but for now i love my mushroom i feel like he's such a good addition and works really really well with my little potted herbs so whilst we were at the garden society we ended up having the seasonal drink that they're offering at the moment um which you would have seen i like took a little clip of it and it was 
a cinnamon and vanilla latte and oh my goodness me was it one of the best drinks i think i've ever ever had it just felt so seasonal like so autumnal i love the taste of cinnamon especially at this time of year i feel like it really gets me in like the festive spirit it's like very early christmas kind of like flavoring and it's kind of got me in the mood to do a bit of baking so i've just been having a look online for any recipes that include cinnamon and i found this one on bbc good food and i must admit bbc good food is one of the best places to go when it comes to baking because they tell you like prep time they tell you how easy or difficult things are and they have so many recipes on there so this is a cinnamon and vanilla cake now, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't actually have a cake tin, which is one of those things that's like, how can I not actually own that? So I'm debating whether to either do it as cupcakes, which might be the way that I go forward, or I do have this, which might make it into more of a loaf, but the more I think about it, the more I think that the... Um, texture of this might be the wrong thing i actually watched a video alex sent it to me and it was about how different um like cooking utensils changes the consistency of things so, like that's why you're supposed to put cook, cook cook cookies or bake cookies on like a flat tray and why you're supposed to do loaves in like a thicker tin so the more i think about it the more i think that we should probably that was loud go for cupcakes instead because i do have a cupcake tray so I think i'm gonna do some cinnamon and vanilla cupcakes because how lovely will that be for alex to come home and smell cinnamon in the kitchen oh my goodness me and i do also love vanilla um so in terms of ingredients there's not too much here um and i should be able to do this all in my kenwood so that's great as well so first of the autumn baking i can't believe it's taken me this long because of the warm weather that we had it just wasn't really in the mood for doing some like really cozy at home baking whereas today i'm feeling all of the cozy vibes i feel like yesterday and today have just put me in the best like autumnal mood so cue the time lapse let's do some autumn baking goodness me these are looking and smelling absolutely delicious it's in these moments that i wish that smell vision was a thing because the kitchen has just been filled with the most amazing festive scent oh my word i wish you guys could try these which actually you can if you decide to do the recipe yourself i'm actually really glad that i did the cupcakes because i do feel like especially when it comes to like sharing and like dishing them out i feel like cupcakes are just like the way forward um but i do definitely need to get myself a cake tin so any recommendations let me know down below but i feel like the cupcakes just work so so well i'm undecided what to do with regards to decorating i think i'm just going to leave them on top but it would be really cool if i could just do like a little like a cinnamon butter or something like that i think that would be really really fab um but i'm gonna leave them like this for now because i feel like for a first time they have just turned out so so well and i'm really happy with how they're looking i'm not gonna lie i am so excited for a taste test tonight but for now i'm gonna put the lid on i'm not gonna lie there is nothing that makes me happier and seeing the cake tin with something really yummy inside this is just my absolute favorite view